Hi everyone, how are you? So welcome back to my another video. So are you an electrical engineering, electronics or electronics and telecommunication engineering graduate or you have already been working in the field of embedded systems and now you are looking for masters in embedded systems in Germany. Then you have clicked on the right video. If you are a mechanical engineering graduate or you uh, and you are looking for masters in mechatronics, I have already made a video giving insights into masters in mechatronics here in Germany. So you can check it out. I will also put the link in the description. I know you may be having many questions related to masters in embedded systems. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how is masters in embedded systems here in Ravensburg Weingarten University or it is also called as Hochschule Ravensburg Weingarten. Along with it, I am also going to talk about what kind of jobs do you get in embedded systems here in Germany. I will also tell you about what are what kind of specializations you can do in this particular domain and what, yeah, and also what kind of jobs you can land into. So shall we begin? So I will start with brief introduction about my profile in case you are watching this video for the first time and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet you can do it right now. So I completed my graduation uh, or BTEC in 2016 in electronics and telecommunication engineering and after that I completed my postgraduate diploma from CDAC headquarters Pune uh, in embedded systems design. After that I worked for 2.3 years as an embedded software developer in an automotive manufacturing company. It's an automotive component supplier. Uh, but by the time of application, I was having 1.5 years of experience uh, when I was applying to the universities in Germany. Currently, I'm studying Masters in Embedded Systems at Hochschule Ravensburg Weingarten. And um, to be specific, right now, I have I have been like after my second semester, I have started doing the internship in an electronics manufacturing company in Germany. There, I will also be doing doing my master, my master thesis, my final thesis. So that was all about my profile. Now let's dive deep into Master's in Embedded Systems at Ravensburg Weingarten University or in, in short I will also call it as RWU. So there are only two master's programs offered in this university uh, that are English taught, Master's in Mechatronics and Master's in Embedded Systems. Both programs are offered only in the winter semester. I will be talking about content of the master's program but if you want to go deep into the curriculum you can find that curriculum on, on the university website. You can go to the university website and you can find the course and in that you can find the uh, module handbook of the of the of the course in that you, you get the contents of each module and you can go through that um, because I, it will not be possible for me to cover each and every from everything from the curriculum in this program there will be some mandatory subjects and elective subjects so elective subjects you choose based on your area of interest or your area of specialization uh, that part i will come next after this uh, that what kind of uh, what what are the area of specialization here but just remember that there will be some elective subjects as well and that mandatory subjects you have to uh, like finish them you have to get the grades and uh, you cannot avoid that so in case of mandatory subject in case of mandatory subjects let me tell you what are like what are those subjects so there will be mathematics like advanced mathematics will be there which will be is a, which is a mandatory subject here subject here and ap ap apart from that there will be embedded systems project that there will be control systems and signal processing uh, there will also be wireless communication related to the communication engineering and in case of elective subjects there is a wide range of elective subjects that you can take from machine learning to artificial intelligence to the vhdl programming and computer architecture so it's up to you that based on based on your interest you choose the subjects and then you decide your career that where you'll be doing the job or where you do you want to pursue your career now let's look at the areas of specialization so if you have now started looking for universities that you can apply to for this field then you will you will realize that different universities focus on different areas some universities focus too much on software side or to some universities focus too much on hardware side and it will not be something that you what you wanted sometimes you might have to compromise that um, if you want to go in software or hardware but you will not find a uh, perfect program that uh, that you want to pursue so you might have to adjust as well so talking about rwu in my opinion there are three specialization areas that the university offer in masters in embedded systems so these specialization areas are um, embedded software uh, computer vision and fpga or hardware design this particular program will introduce you to these topics but they will not go too much into the deep you have to study on your own you have to figure out uh, figure it out on your own they will give you a good basic knowledge of it but it's you who has to go further uh, like however deep you want to go it's up to you now let me explain briefly on each topic so that you can get insights on what are what is there in each specialization so starting with embedded software 
in embedded software you will learn 32 bit microcontroller programming um, real time operating systems and sensory interfacing as well so coming with so coming to computer vision you will you will have uh, the university focuses a little bit more on this on this particular specialization you will learn about introduction to autonomous driving camera calibration and uh, sensor fusion also um, object detection and matching you will also learn about lidar and radar systems and you will uh, with that you will also get a chance to learn about machine learning and artificial intelligence in the hardware design you will learn about phdl programming um, computer architecture and also development of system on chip and test and debug of that as well okay so that was all about the areas of specialization that you can do here in this program i know you must be having this question that how is teaching or how is the guidance from professor for this program so i'll tell you that um, they will not teach you too much too deep you just have to work on your own there is a self, more self study than what they are going to teach you in the class so most of the time they will expect you to learn learn things on your own independently autonomously so they will introduce you to a, to a topic and uh, now it's up to you how much deep you want to go into that but they will definitely guide you uh, they will you can also do some voluntary projects uh, under 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 the professor uh, you could you, there is there is also room uh, there is also there is there is also an opportunity to learn from the project so you can ask voluntarily for the projects you can also join some research teams there is there are some uh, institute of research uh, you will also find that uh, on, on the university website i will also put put the link in the uh, in the descri video description you can check it out so either you can do either you can work for a student work uh, working student uh, under the professor you, you can ask for a particular project that you are interested in uh, in a particular domain or whatever specialization it is then um, you can start working under the professor on a project uh, you might get paid for that or sometimes you might have to work voluntarily there is also a team of uh, formula student where if you want to learn things then you can also join the team that will also be a voluntary work but um, there are like a number of opportunities to learn for you but it's just that you have to show the interest and you have to start working on your own now i am pretty sure that you would be having this particular curiosity in your mind that uh, whenever i'll finish this program what kind of jobs i will land into so starting with the embedded software you will you will get a job you will get a full time job into uh, embedded software particularly in microcontroller programming embedded application development or real time systems or you will also land into chip level programming from computer vision side you can land into image processing or computer vision applications or um, adas or sensor calibration or object detection and matching that kind of these kind of development jobs you can land into after this for hardware design you can get jobs into chip level design or in fpga development phdl programming obviously it is not limited to these subject or these topics only you can choose to study whatever you want to study here and and you can pursue your interest uh, i have tried to get i have tried to cover as much information as i can into this uh, in this like short span of time but you are always welcome to go to the university website and check the whole curriculum check module check module handbook and you are also you can also contact get in touch with the university professor or in international office of the university so in case if you are if in case if you are planning to apply to this to this program so that was all about the masters in embedded systems program at R rwu i hope you find this information useful to you and if you find it is then do not forget to share this video with your friends or colleagues who wants to pursue this pursue this course or want to apply to this university also do not forget to subscribe to the channel because in coming weeks i will be coming with the amazing content for you so please uh, press the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye